Good morning. Slide number one. Unit one. Lesson one. Friction. An example. Take your two own hands together and rub them. Between them is friction. Friction occurs or happens between two surfaces when one of them touches the other. Again, it occurs or happens between two surfaces when one of them touches the other. Slide number two. Examples to show the effect of friction on the motion of objects. Motion means movement. Number A. Motion a rubber ball on sand and smooth surfaces. Number one. The rubber ball keeps moving on a smooth floor. Like the classroom floor. Number two but it stops moving after a little time on a sandy floor like the playground number b motion of a bike number one on pushing the pedal of a bike it moves forward number two but if you lift your feet from the pedal and stop pedaling its speeds slow down that's then it will stop. The word speed means for now fast. From A and B, we have noticed that we can understand that there is a force that decreases the motion of the speed of the ball and the bike. Decreases means it will make it less. This force is called friction force. The effect of friction force always, always in the opposite direction of the movement. Meaning, if we have a bike that moves in the right direction, so its friction will be in the left direction. Again, the friction force, number one, it is the amount of force that exists between two surfaces. Number two, it also affects the movement in the opposite direction. Slide number three. Examples to show the effect of friction force. The word slope means a piece of surface that is higher at one end than the other. I'm speaking here about the position of the wooden board. Number A motion of a plastic cube on a smooth wooden board number one the plastic cube will not slope will not start to fall down number two the plastic cube slides by increasing the sloping of the wooden board take care Picture number two shows that the cube is in a higher position because I added another book. 
In picture number two, we have three books. But in picture number one, we have only two books. Number B. Motion of a marble on a smooth and rough surface. Number one. A marble moves on a rough surface like wood then stops quickly. Number two. A marble moves longer on a smooth surface like a ceramic floor then stops too. Example B means if we take a ball or a marble and this marble will let it move on a ceramic floor on a very smooth floor this marble will move for a longer distance then it will stop but if I take the same marble and I will let it move on a rough surface like a wooden board or like a sandy floor or like the playground it will move for a short distance then it will stop from A and B we can conclude that we can understand that the plastic cube and the marble will move then stop by the effect of the friction force that always that always in the opposite direction of their movement Slide number four. The relation between the friction force and the type of material surface. Scientists found there is a relation between the amount of friction, how much do we have of friction, and the type of material surface. In the first column, the rubber ball and the dry cement they have the greatest friction between them in the second column a glass ball and a metal surface for example has a great friction or a great amount of friction between them notice the word great in the second column not greatest. In the third column, rubber ball and wet cement. It has less friction. Less friction than the other previous two columns. In the last column, column number four, the friction between a glass pole, for example, and a glass surface. It has the least friction. The least amount of friction between them. Slide number five. Disadvantages of friction, meaning the bad effects of friction, meaning why is friction is bad. Remember when I said in the beginning, if you take your two own hands together and rub them, what will you feel after a while? You will feel your hands are warm or hot than before, hotter than before. Imagine that the same thing happened inside an old fan, an old electric fan. Again, the disadvantages of friction. The friction force between internal parts of the machines causes number one, raising the temperature of the internal part, parts. Raising the temperature means it will become higher, more than before, hotter than before. Number two, damage of the machine, it will destroy the machine.
Number three, waste of money. At the end, you will pay money to replace this bad machine. Slide number six. How to decrease the friction force? How to make the friction force less? Imagine with me this example. If your mother or your sister is trying a new ring, maybe she will manage to wear this new ring, but maybe this new ring is stuck. What will she do? She will wash her hand with soap or she will add small drops of oil. Why? Why? To make this ring uh, move smoothly from her finger the same thing here how to decrease the friction force number one by using oil and lubricants as in cars engine lubricants means a substance such as oil that is put on things that drop together making them move more smoothly A. To make a thin layer between two surfaces by adding small drops of oil. Number B. To decrease the friction force between them. Number two. By using smooth metal pole peerings between internal moving parts, especially in cars. What is a pole peerings? Pole peerings or pole peering is a group of metallic poles, meaning poles made from metals, which have very, very smooth surface. So we can say there is no friction between their, surface, uh, their surfaces, because it have a very, very smooth surface. These pole peerings are used in cars, how? When the driver is holding the steering wheel of the car, its movement or motion will transmit, will go to a part in the car called an axe. This axe will transmit the motion or the movement to the wheels or the tires of the car. So the car will move. Again, to avoid the friction force between the motion parts and to transmit the motion from the car engine to the wheels easily. Slide number seven. Remember, number one, any object moves when the friction force is less than the movement force. Number two, the word technicians means for now people who can fix things. Don't forget to do your homework, science booklet page three and four. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.